हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट एक्सप्रेस द फाइव किलो न्यूट्रन फोर्स एफ एज अ वेक्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द यूनिट वेक्टर्स आई जे एंड के एंड फर्दर वी आर आस्क टू डिटरमाइन द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ ऑन टू द एक्स एक्सिस एंड ऑन टू द लाइन ओ ए सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू रिजोल्व दिस फोर्स इन टू इट्स कॉम्पोनेट्स एलॉन्ग आई जे एंड के so let's say that this is the projection of this force on this xy plane right so i will write that this is the projection of this force f along the xy plane right and as we can see that this will be the component of this force along the z axis right so we can write that this is f z right so now we can find this f of x y since the angle with the xy plane is 35 degree right and this angle is made with this f of fxy so fxy will be the cos component of this force f right so we can write that this will be f cos of 35 degrees and if we put f equals to 5 kN so then this f of xy is 4.10 kN right so we can write that this is 4.10 kN and similarly we can write that fz if we look into this triangle right so then this fz is the sine component of this force f right so we can write that this is f sine of 35 degrees and f is again 5 kN right so we can write that this is 5 sine of 35 and when we solve this so fz is 2.88 kN right now uh, we can resolve this f of x y into two other components one component along x and one component along y so if i draw those components right so this will be the component of f of x y along the x axis is right so we can write that this is f x and similarly there will be one another component which will be acting along the y axis is right so this is f of y this is the component of force f along y right so we can write that f x is equal to f x of y since this f x y is making 60 degrees with this x axis right so we can write that this is f x y cos of 60 degrees and similarly f y will be f x y sin of 60 degrees right we can represent we can draw this f of f y here as well right so this is the f of f f y and this is the sin component of this f of x y right and this f of this f y is along the y axis right so we can draw it here as well right so now if we put f of x value f of x y value which is 4.10 kN so 4.10 cos of 60 degree is f of x comes out to be 2.05 kN and this f of y when we put this value of f of x y so then this is 3.55 kN right so now we can represent that force f in terms of i j and k components right so this will be f x i plus f y j plus f z k and similarly this is f x which is 2.05 so we will write 2.05 i f y is 3.55 so 3.55 j and this is f z right so this is plus 2.88 k and this is in kN right now in the next part of this problem we were asked to determine the projection of f on to the x axis right so the projection of f on to the x axis is fx right so that is already known this is 2.05 kN right and then we we are asked to determine the projection of this force f on to the line oa right so let's say let's say that this pink line is force let's say p force which is acting along this oa line right so if we represent this p force 
as a vector right so we can write this p force like this so this will be p magnitude into n o a right so n o a so this is the unit vector of this p and we do not know the magnitude of this uh, this p force right so if we represent that p force so then that p force as a vector will be p magnitude times n o a and now if you want to find the projection of this force f along o a so then what we need to do is that we will write that f o a the projection of this force f along o a will be equal to that f vector and we will take the dot product with n o a the unit vector of this p force along that o a line right so now if we know this n o a so then the unit vector of this p force so then we will take the dot product of that unit vector with this f force so that that will give us the projection of that force f along o a so now if we find the components of this p force right since its magnitude is let's say p so p of x will be p cos of and this p force is making 30 degrees this is given right so p of x will be p cos of 30 degrees and it's component along the y axis will be if if we want to find py so then py will be p sine of 30 degrees and if we represent this p force as a vector right so this will be p x i plus p y j and this p x is p cos of 30 i plus p sin of 30 j and if i take p common which is the magnitude right so this will be cos of 30 degree plus sin of 30 degrees and this is along i and this is along j right now if we compare this with this equation right so we can write that this is p vector and this is p magnitude and this is n o a right so these this is the direction cosines right so this tells us the direction of that p force right so this means that this is the unit vector along o a right so from this we can write that n o a unit vector equals to cos of 30 i plus sine of 30 j right so now if we take the dark product of this force f with this unit vector so that will give us the projection of this force f along that o a line right so force f is 2.05 i plus 3.55 j plus 2.88 k and the dark product with cos of 30 i plus sine of 30 j so 2.05 into cos of 30 and i dot i is 1 similarly uh, if we multiply this i component with that j so i dot j is 0 similarly if we multiply this 3.55 j with cos of 30 i so j dot i is 0 similarly j dot j is 1 right so we can add that this will be plus 3.55 sine of 30 degrees and j dot j is 1 right and similarly if we multiply this k term with both of these so they will become 0 right so now when we solve this using calculator so the projection of force f along o a is 3.55 kilonewton right so this is the solution of this particular problem